When the USGA and RNA issued a joint report on distance in golf this week, it was like a starting pistol for keyboard warriors who were out of the blocks like Usain Bolt to tell us how they could do a better job of running the game themselves. In golf, as in politics, governing bodies make the softest targets. They're lightning rods for criticism, much of it deserved. And if they're actually making news, it's seldom positive. We've seen that at a handful of US Opens in recent years. Then when it comes time to explain matters, they tend to wheel out stodgy types with a killjoy vibe right out of central casting. The governing bodies frequently don't help their own cause. But too often it doesn't matter what the USGA or RNA say, when they say it, how they say it, or even who says it. The distance discussion is no different. Like much of what we see in daily life, most minds are already made up. If you're among those who think golf equipment should be reined in, then you might like the gist of this report, but you're still pissed that the governing bodies let it get out of control. If you don't think there's a distance problem, then you're upset that they're manufacturing one. Add the usual social media posturing and nominally reasonable people turn into the golf equivalent of Charlton Heston at an NRA convention, brandishing their drivers and reeling against dark forces coming to take away their weapons. The only thing that seems to unite both sides on this fractious topic is the belief that the USGA and RNA have gotten things wrong which is fair enough. That's the cost of being in a position of authority. Everyone is fine with the cops until they're the ones being pulled over. Then it's a rank injustice. At least in the distance report, the governing bodies acknowledge their role in bringing us to this juncture while suggesting a path forward. The USGA and RNA are easily and lazily dismissed as being VHS relics in a Netflix world. But the most asinine dismissal we frequently hear is that they are amateurs, ill-qualified to sit in judgment on the professional game. I'm guessing we'll hear that a lot more in the fallout from this report. They are amateurs, but only as golfers, not as administrators. They have been running the game around the world for 266 years in the case of the RNA, 126 for the USGA. For all their shortcomings, and there are many, not least the antiquated fondness for blue blazers, these are the people who show up to work every day and try to figure out how to sustain this game far into the future. Stuffy blazers or not, I'm glad they're doing that instead of sitting at home like the rest of us, writing snarky tweets about how someone else is screwing things up.